A cordial greeting. Today is Monday, October 13, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will give an update on the forecast related to the recently formed tropical storm Lorenzo, which is associated with what was in Vest 97 and was classified as a tropical storm in the early morning hours of today. And in the second part of the video, we will talk about a strong tropical wave that is emerging from Africa, which may encounter favorable conditions for tropical development in the long term once it reaches the Caribbean Sea region. Before giving details about Tropical Storm Lorenzo and the upcoming tropical wave, I wanted to mention that the trajectory of both weather disturbances will be influenced by a high-pressure system that will strengthen in about 7 to 10 days in the North Atlantic. This will cause Tropical Storm Lorenzo to have an unusual trajectory, and will also cause the tropical wave emerging from Africa to move quite far south and eventually represent a risk for tropical development over the Central and Western Caribbean Sea. According to the latest official forecast from the National Hurricane Center regarding Tropical Storm Lorenzo, in general, it is forecast to remain a tropical storm for the next five days as it moves over the open waters of the Atlantic. At the moment, it is anticipated to remain south of the Azores, also west of the Canary Islands, and north of the Cape Verde Islands, which means that Tropical Storm Lorenzo will likely remain over open Atlantic waters throughout its life as a tropical cyclone. Now then, by the end of this week, we must pay attention to the next tropical wave, as some models show it being quite strong in approximately 6 to 7 days as it crosses over the Lesser Antilles. For example, the German model shows a strong tropical wave or tropical depression crossing over the southern Lesser Antilles during the night hours of next Sunday. On the other hand, we have the European model, which also shows the strong tropical wave reaching the Caribbean during the night hours of next Sunday, while the Google Artificial Intelligence model also shows the strong tropical wave moving over the southern Lesser Antilles during the afternoon hours of Sunday. And we see the same in the projection from the United Kingdom model, which shows a tropical depression moving over sectors of the central and southern Lesser Antilles, also during the afternoon hours of Sunday. While the American model in its latest run shows a strong tropical wave or tropical depression passing very close to Trinidad and Tobago, just north of Venezuela and very near the islands of Aruba and Curaçao. So we have good consensus that this next tropical wave should maintain a completely westward trajectory, and for now, it is projected to arrive in the area as a strong tropical wave, possibly bringing heavy showers across the southern half of the Lesser Antilles, Trinidad, and Tobago, Aruba, and Curaçao. And since most models do not show a tropical cyclone when it reaches the Lesser Antilles, that is the reason why the National Hurricane Center has not yet marked this area with probabilities for tropical development during the next seven days. However, if the tropical wave reaches the Caribbean strong or as a tropical depression, it could represent a significant threat in the Central and Western Caribbean Sea, as conditions in this area may be very favorable for development and strengthening. Mainly, this is due to several factors that together can create extremely favorable conditions for development and intensification. First, remember that a favorable phase of the Madden-Julian Oscillation will be over the Atlantic and the African continent, which favors instability and the formation of low pressures across the main tropical development region. Meanwhile, in the Pacific area, we continue with neutral conditions, and soon the La Nina phenomenon will begin to develop. So this means that wind shear will continue to remain below normal across the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, since the month of July, you can see that wind shear across the Caribbean Sea has been below normal, but surprisingly, up to this point, we have not seen the formation or passage of tropical cyclones through the Caribbean Sea. Now then, this has allowed sea surface temperatures to remain extremely high. At the moment, on average, they are between 30 and 31 degrees Celsius, so any strong tropical wave that moves through the region can benefit from these warm temperatures and experience significant strengthening. In fact, in the Caribbean Sea, sea surface temperatures are currently between 1 to 2 degrees Celsius above normal. And in response to this, some global models show a risk that this tropical wave could eventually develop and strengthen in the Central and Western Caribbean Sea. And although this is definitely a long-range forecast and much can change, in fact, it is six or seven days away from reaching the Lesser Antilles, we definitely cannot ignore that the high pressure will be so strong that its trajectory will likely be quite far to the south. The ensemble members of some models already show the possibility of development in the Caribbean Sea in about eight to twelve days. For example, the ensemble members of the American model, many of them, show tropical development, although there is still no consensus on what its future trajectory or intensity could be. So, it is clear why the entire Caribbean should pay attention to this upcoming tropical wave starting later this week. For example, the ensemble members of the European model, many of them, also develop a tropical storm or hurricane in about 9 to 10 days. And we also see great uncertainty about what its future trajectory could be. 
In addition, the ensemble members of the Google Artificial Intelligence model, also in the long term and more than 10 days ahead, show the possible development of a tropical cyclone south of Jamaica or in the Western Caribbean Sea. And some members show the potential for rapid strengthening if this tropical wave manages to stay over the waters of the Caribbean Sea. So, in summary, I can tell you the following. It is very likely that Tropical Storm Lorenzo will maintain an erratic trajectory over Atlantic waters without posing a threat to land areas. However, even though this is still a long-term forecast that can change significantly over the next few days, we cannot ignore that the next tropical wave, if it maintains a trajectory toward the Caribbean Sea, could become a problem in the long term once it reaches the Central and Western Caribbean. For now, don't worry, we will have many days to observe calmly, but please, starting later this week, pay attention to the forecast from the National Hurricane Center, and here on Hurricane Info, I will be closely monitoring to keep you informed. That's why I will be recording at least one video per day to follow up on this tropical wave. And for this reason, before I leave, I wanted to invite you to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell so that you receive notifications when I post new videos. I hope everyone has an excellent night. See you tomorrow.